There seemed to be political tension in the camp of Pastor Ezeyamu, the man that picked the All Progressives Congress ticket to contest for September 2020 governorship election in Edo State, as all his pillar of support that brought him back to the party in December 2019 has been housed from office by the action of Mr. President yesterday, when he dissolved the National Working Committee of All Progressives Congress, APC, in Abuja. This action of Mr. President is most likely to effect, affect the governorship bid of Ize Yamu, who is contesting to become the next governor of Edo State, as all his pillars of support were affected by the action of President Mohamed Buhari, which dissolved the National Working Committee of APC, which include Mr. Adam Sushumole, his godfather, and all members of the National Working Committee that was involved in the primaries of all progressive Congress in Edo State. It seems Pastor Izeyamu is standing alone after the action of Mr. President. This means that he has to start doing the politics of Edo State without his godfather at his back. Equally, means that he has to start fighting the incumbent governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, who has decamped to PDP and picked the governorship ticket of People's Democratic Party to contest alongside with him, whose pillar of support was removed yesterday. As it stands now, we will be able to know who is the owner of Edo State among the two contending candidates, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, who is the incumbent governor and the pastor Izeyamu, who is the flag bearer of, of all progressive congress. Okay. Um, well, I think that is the normal way for people to think and that is the you know, quickest way to think about it. Because normally, if you ask me what really brought him to APC, I don't know whether Ushumole went to liaise with him to come back to just be, to be, so, so that he will be able to get you will be able to get a uh, get at Obaseki, but remember that irrespective of anything, Obase uh, Ezeyamusi has a uh, his own people. Of course, he has a uh, uh, people who surrounded him, who supported him when he was in APC, when he was in PDP in 2016, and a lot of people have have alluded to the fact that he really won, according to what they are saying, that he won based on the fact that you know. Of course, PD, AP, uh, uh, those state has been PDP states. It's just that uh, the people that really manage it that time, you know, when you have done something for a very long time and you think you can continue to take advantage of people and you think uh, things will continue to work that way, it's not work, it's, gonna, it's not going to last forever. At some point, that was why APC took over because they wanted to do with a with a PDP then. But naturally, uh, Edo is PDP because even if you look at it, last uh, presidential election for the fact that uh, the federal might was there, the incumbent uh, government was there uh, uh, Oshomole as the national uh, national chairman of the party and again the governor uh, was APC when Nebaseki was there so those three forces alone they would have, at least for the fact that he was a national chairman of the party those three criteria alone would have made Buhari to have won in Edo State, they were, he didn't win. PDP took, I, I think we won that state. PDP won that state as far as a, a presidential election was concerned. So what are we talking about? Now, maybe it was Oshomole that went to meet with him, to liaise with him, or he just felt that let him decamp so that he will have that, say, he will have that opportunity that a uh, Obaseki had. That made him to win because it's neither here nor there. That a uh, oh people are saying he won the election uh, because of uh, the way they rigged those, the whole thing and all of that. Maybe that was why he went. I know the relationship between himself and Oshomole. Everybody surprised that Oshomole that said this, that said that somebody was saying oh it doesn't mean it's politics. I was even telling somebody when until when the person now watched the video, the person now said oh, everything Oshomole said about this man it's you know it's not going to help him at all in the first place. And why would this man even subject himself to ridicule somebody that has said one or one or two things about you? And when Oshomole was talking about God, so that one even went uh, beyond. And that's me my, my own stand. It went beyond just a mere politics of course we know politicians saw a lot of things oh this one cannot do this this one cannot do this oh lord but when it comes to the issue of a uh, involving people's lives talking about uh, how a poor acid on somebody and is that they 
He, the man that he poured acid on, he's a living witness. Everybody knows that the man is still alive. You know, he said one out of things. You know, he went overboard. He went, well, politicians, they, most of the time, they don't even think of all those ones, but people don't, will not forget. So at the end of the day, if you talk about uh, uh, Eze Yamo having that uh, support, of course, he had that support. But I don't know why now that he has gone back to APC, that if, 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 if ordinarily people don't even like APC, that is just the way it is. Because if they really like that APC, like APC so much, Buhari would have won in a those states with all the power, with all the incumbent power, the whatever, at the federal level, at the state level, couple with the fact that the chairman is from that state, they couldn't win for a Buhari. So what happened? So it is now another thing for the people, if really the people who supported him 2016 if they have interest in APC that is another b different game a uh, ball game entirely and for the fact that people don't even want it a uh, god for that reason they don't even want it because anything coming from Oshomole because there's no way you are going to separate it this guy is coming from Oshomole now is is coming from Oshomole so it's not depends on the people now that uh, since they don't want that to happen then this man has crossed to the PDP so how do you justify that that, oh, some people are saying, oh, eh, for the fact that he has gone to APC now, people love him, people like him. People might just want him, and they just wanted P -P PDP. So it is not that everybody will now go and test uh, his, uh, his popularity. Of, uh, two of them are men. Everybody will go and test his popularity with the people. So it's possible he wins. It's possible he will not win. It's possible uh, the other gentleman, Obaseki, wins. Either, you know, it's vice versa. So looking at the old thing, Oshomole and the people that is really is really looking for looking up to that they are going to help him naturally they are no long they don't longer they no longer have that power let me tell you it is only when you are thriving when you have a some kind of support when you have the kind of age or when it comes to money that is when people will be uh, rushing you people will be supporting you a lot of people it is what they want to get from you forget most of the thing, people that are even following Oshomole it could be because of what they feel they could get from him but now they feel that uh, he does not have electoral value he does not have a this he does not have power at the center again they've already uh, uh, they've already demoted him he's no longer in the carcass so who is going to talk to you will not see that a lot of people don't be surprised the, the kind of defection they are going to be seen as since they have they, this they have dissolved that uh, nwc you will see a lot of people that are following him because of what they wanted to get from him you see that they will begin to reverse back that is life for you and who has the power in that in that Edo state now? As far as we are concerned, it's a Edo, it's a, the incumbent governor Obaseki. Unless maybe they are going to do miracle or something, they want to do all manner of things from the center to say they want to unseat uh, this guy, you know, by way of a uh, you no, know, you know the way they do their things. But generally, if you want to talk about people, you know that APC, uh, the people of Edo state, they they want PDP, irrespective of the person that they, they want PDP. So at the end of the day, you can't see just one cannot just see make a, a blank statement. It still now depends whether the people who felt that say uh, uh, the, the it is the party they wanted or it is the Obas uh, Eze Yamu they wanted. It now depends how they want to go the, uh, go by go with the old thing. But ordinarily, <laughs> Oshimole, I'm, I'm sure this guy was banking on him. The other time, some days back, he was talking about, oh, I don't need the Godfather to win an election. Says who? <laughs> we know the reason why he went to join, uh, to have to have an alliance with uh, Oshumole in the first place. So they can come out and be putting up bold faces and say, oh, that is not the situation of things. But at the end of the day, it will happen. What people are always insinuating will still come to pass. See all this grab, 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 grab. A lot of people have been saying that Oshumole will go, will go. Ah, they say Oshumole will bounce back. So I don't know how Oshumole is going to bounce back. At this uh, uh, junction, because even the Buhari himself has said all the cases in court, they should go and withdraw it because if they want peace. So what are we talking about? But Ushomole is insisting that they, or his group insisting that they are still going to go to court. So that's just the way it is. But most of the time, policies you cannot just say, oh, it is going to go like this. Maybe the way you think it's going to go, it might not go that way. So let us keep our finger crossed. Pasoise Yamu is a grassroots politician that the Edo people have endorsed overwhelmingly to be the next governor of the state. Therefore, it doesn't need only one man to achieve this. Okay, someone is not laughing. Someone said, even if the NWC was dissolved, Adam can still can pay for him. They are still APC members, and now he still have federal backup. PMB people would make sure that two states, Edo and Ondo, 
will, will be delivered to avoid shame. Hmm. How would they want to be? De- what do they want to use to deliver? Is to use rig- rigging or what? Have you forgotten that in 2016 he has no political pillars? He's not in ruling party then, and he won and he won the election and was rigged. But today he's a ruling party, and God is backing him up. Okay, that means the the same party. We, they will see rigged now. That's what these people are saying that they were just going to rig it. Okay, he betrayed his people by moving back to APC. You have to connect with the people on the streets of Edo State. You will know that Pastor Ize Yamu has lost it. Well, so guys, let us hear your opinion. That's what people are saying. What do you think that for the fact that Oshumole does not really have a hold in the party again as a national ch- a party chairman? Is going to affect his day, Yamu. Let's have your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you.